and to hear the real Arthur Godfrey, <laughs> I've got to be honest with you. He's not what you see him on TV <laughs> when he's in the background and he's working on something. He can get rather vocal. <laughs> and I'll let you figure out the rest as far as that goes. But I, I told Norman, I said, as long as I'm, I'm, I'm breathing air and I'm doing this music, I'm always going to do uh, one, one or two of your, your tunes. And he always said, well, you're the only one that's going to be doing it. I said, I'm sorry. No, no, no. We're going to keep your music going. We are. Yeah. So I'm going to invite Vinny to come out to sing this next one. I hope you enjoy it. From the Army Air Corps Library, and of course, is Norman's arrangement. All I do is dream of you. This next one goes out to those guys and gals who are slugging out over streets. They're on American Patrol.
It's called the Naughty Sweetie Blues. Japanese sad man. 
Now here's the truth. Jared Heron smokes. Yeah. Do you know what he smokes? Chesterfield. Marlboro. Chesterfield. <laughs> They're hard to get. He has to get them from overseas. You can't get them in the United States. His other favorite cigarette is a camel. Oh. Yeah. Jared should quit smoking. <laughs> We're going to do a, uh, another great modern airs tune with Ray Everly. I think he'll be enjoying this. Here's the Sun of Singers. Here's Moonlight Cocktails. Mm. students, and I think a lot of our students don't realize what World War II really was and the sacrifices that everybody made, because in every family, somebody, they, they lost someone. 
And I don't think they realize all the, uh, there were British people involved in this. We had British allies, we had French, Canadian, Australian, and they lost many lives as well. And there's a lot of our guys that did not make it home. And there are many cemeteries in Europe where thousands of our guys, and these are young guys, are there. And I don't think people really realize that, but I think it's appropriate today to talk about it because what they did for us and to keep us free is so important. So we like to do a, a great Army Air Force tune. It's kind of a short one, but it's one of my favorites for those guys that served over in England and for our English friends as well. It's entitled London Dairy Air. Yeah. If someone is currently serving in your family and you would like to stand for them, you may do so as well. If you would like to remember someone who has passed that has served, you may stand up as well. Here's our tribute to our veterans to thank them for our great service to our country and for keeping us free.
You need to go to any time there's live bands, whether it's the Lemon Orchestra or the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra or your local town orchestra, go hear them. Keep this music going. Because people are forgetting about this music, and it's so important. You know, Norman did, did something very important for me, and I'm so grateful to him. He coined a phrase for me, he gave me a title. He called me the keeper of the big band flame. And I'm one of the keepers. But that's my job for the next 20 years, and then I gotta find someone to take my place. But you all need to keep <laughs> But you all need to keep coming to the festival each year. And how many new people do we have this year that have never been to the festival before? Yeah. Fantastic! <laughs> Too. In six years, I, I've learned. Believe me, I knew. I when I first time here, I knew what I was doing. But people taught me. People like Norman Layton, and I spent time with with uh, Miller alumni, Paul Tanner. Yeah. Um, and they taught me about things. But I learned another lesson that it's not musical. And it's about people. It's about friendships, and that's what Clorinda is all about. It's about the music. It's the friendships and, and how we socialize with each other and we share. 
That's what this is all about. And yes, it's about Glenn Miller and we love his music. And I even, I have to be honest with you, when I watch the Glenn Miller story, I cry at the very beginning. I'm still mourning a man I have never met. Hmm. But it's, and I listen to the music. And, and every time I listen to it, I hear it a little differently. You know, it's just, it's just something you do. But those of you that are first timers, please come back. Please join us. You're going to make friends here. And again, thank you so much for allowing us the privilege of performing for you this afternoon and allowing me the privilege of being here each year. It really means a lot. And there's an old saying, you know, doing something you love with people you love. And that's what it's all about. And it's been that way with them and with you guys. So hey, let's go out on a high note here. We hope you enjoy our final selection. Let's do a little classical music, shall we? <laughs> How about the end of course? Yeah. <laughs>
we'll say goodbye now in the best way we know how.